If I hadn't gone to prison and come here, I don't think I would have got off the mess. I would still be on it now. Odyssey House has been providing drug and alcohol treatment in Christchurch for over 30 years. We have a number of ventures to try to engage community and actually the, the biggest one has been the Speed Freaks. So there's a guy, Jamie, he, he came back to coach us. Yeah, and I hated both my first two runs. I, didn't, <laughs> I hated them, but um, I stuck at it. And yeah, a couple of months later, I did a half, half marathon. It's definitely a running community. When you're running, you're a runner. And yeah, everyone's real supportive, no matter who you are. It made me feel a part of something. We have an option, don't we, to see people incarcerated or see people offered treatment. The running is a real metaphor for what they're trying to achieve in their life and that sort of addiction recovery. Yeah, well, running's been the main thing for my recovery anyway. Really worked for me, it's kept me around. No, I can't put it into words as to how appreciative I am of the time that they put in. The positive response from our community to the Speed Freaks t-shirt, um, it's magic basically. It makes you feel worthy, you know gives you positive connection. We do know that connection is part of recovery and it's part of a successful recovery journey. Well, you know, when we're training, they come during their lunch breaks and run with us. It's who I strive to be as people like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's always heaps of support from Odyssey House. 100% support all the time. Not just the runs, but throughout the whole program. And even still now, there's always support. Feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't recover from addiction overnight. It's a path and there's highs and there's lows. Like at the start, thing, the concepts seem a bit out of it and they seem childish. But the more you progress in the programme, the more you start to understand why things happen the way they happen. It's definitely been a hard road. Got right through the programme, mainly working on myself, but Time to see my kids, you know, I've done all the hard work. Real thankful for the judge, um, all of Odyssey, um, all the running coaches. If I hadn't gone to prison and come here, I don't think I would have got off the mess. I would still be on it now. And it's a buzz in itself, being straight and doing this is actually a buzz compared to what using meth was like. You know, that used to be a buzz for me and, have, and be fun. But now being straight is actually fun, as weird as it is to say, it's actually fun. We know that addiction and problematic substance use can affect many people. We definitely saw a spike after the earthquake. The um, effects of lockdown and COVID, for example, have also shown that actually, you know, we have points in our lives that are particularly stressful and our responses to those stresses may not always be the most healthy, but they're understandable in the context of that. These people were able to give me the support that I needed to be able to stay out of jail. Myself, I've come a long way, you know, I know I've come a long way. And I'm real proud of what I've done and I can only keep going on. Treatment works and it's less costly. Treatment is just part of a continuum. Actually, we're all part of a community and we have a collective responsibility for one another. Changed my life. Yeah. Is that us? Yeah.